Hey, Slicker V fans, coming at you with another video. This week, we're looking at another pair of true wireless earbuds. We've checked out a few of these here on the channel before, so we're gonna see how these compare. Now, this is from the brand GEIC. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, but <laughs> that's who it's from. This is the model. It looks like it's the Y1005. So we'll check these out and again, see how they compare to some of the other options. So opening up the box, you get the wireless earbuds with the charging case right up front. And then <laughs> sounds like underneath we get something I'm gonna guess. It's just a USB-C charger. <laughs> they do not make it easy to get to. Okay, yep, so USB-C charging cable and your normal propaganda. So we'll throw that all off to the side and check out the earbuds here. So again, it comes with an integrated charging case, which is pretty cool. It gives you a digital readout for the battery level inside the case, which is pretty nice. Now, the battery charge on the earbuds themselves runs about four hours. And then the integrating charging case will give you another five charges. So you should have about 24 hours when this thing is fully charged up when you hit the door. So that's pretty good battery life, especially in a small package like this. This is easily pocketable. I can't really think of anything to compare it to size-wise. I guess maybe a key fob. I mean, it would be a little bit on the larger side, but that's about the size of this thing. So again, very pocketable, throw it in purse, coat pocket, jean pocket, anything like that, and you're good to go. Connecting and using them is really easy. They just run on regular Bluetooth. And then what's nice is, after the first time that you pair them, as soon as you pull them out of the case, they instantly go into pairing mode and then they pair with your device. So you don't ever have to think about it or dive into settings or anything like that. They turn on and connect right away, which is a really nice feature. Now, as far as fit and finish, they feel nice enough. I mean, they're just generic kind of plastic earbuds. They do have kind of a familiar design, if you know what I mean, but they are pretty comfortable. I could easily wear these all day going for a run, anything like that. They fit really securely. And the thing with this design that some other name brand started this whole form factor, the thing is you might be able to find a lot of other third-party accessories that fit this. So if you like ear hooks or anything like that, there's lots of that stuff out there that's on the generic side that you might be able to find that fits this. So again, like silicone ear hooks, neck bands, all sorts of stuff, you could probably find something that'll fit these if that's what you're into. So again, but fit and finish, I mean, they pass the shake test anyway, so they don't fall out. Now, moving on to the sound quality, while I've tested these, they're okay. So the normal price on these is 30 bucks. Right now, right this second, there's a $10 sale off of that. So right now you can pick up this set for 20 bucks, which is really not bad. But if we look at the normal price point of around $30, that's about right for these. They're not gonna blow your mind, but they sound okay. You know what I mean? They're not tinny. They don't sound cheap necessarily. It's just that the sound isn't the best, but again, consider the price point. So if you want stellar quality to really hear your music how it's supposed to be, go for something else. You're not shopping for these. But for someone who wants a budget pair of, again, true wireless earbuds that automatically pair, now they do have touch control built into the side just under this microphone here and you can reverse and skip tracks, play and pause your music, answer and end phone calls, and call up your phone's voice assistant. The only thing it can't do is control volume, which is one thing that I would really like it to do. If there's anything I want it to do, it's control volume. I feel like that's one thing that I'm toggling the most, but it does pretty much everything else. And again, for right now, 30, I mean right now 20, but at its normal price point, even at 30 bucks to have touch controls built in, I think is a pretty premium feature to have at this price point. So again, the sound, I'd give it maybe a five out of 10. Again, consider the price point. They sound okay. If you're shopping for something around 30 bucks, this is a good way to go. And again, you get integrated charging case that'll get you about five charges by itself. Pretty pocketable, sounds decent. You get an okay amount of phone functionality control as well. So for $30, there's really nothing I can knock it for. This is a great option if this is something you're looking for. My question for you guys is, what experience do you have with inexpensive wireless earbuds like this? Have you found any winners? Are you gonna try these out? Let everybody know down in the comments. I really like to hear from you guys. If you have any other comments or questions, please do leave them down below. I try to get to every single one. If you'd like to get in touch, here's my social media links, which you can find down in the description as well. And last, before we go, if you enjoy straightforward, to the point content like this where we find great deals online, please make sure to leave the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. 
pretty easy and free ways to help support the channel. So that's all I've got for you this time. I'm Zach, this is Slick Reviews, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to drop a comment down below and give the video a thumbs up. Here's some other videos that I think you'll really like. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos, and I'm on Facebook and Twitter as well. See you at the next one.